Welcome back to the channel folks. This is daily update for Muller stock and if you have been following me from day 1, you know these levels are so accurate at this point that they're working like a charm. The reason these levels are working so good is because I have been making videos on the stock daily and these levels were established as we went along. You know, it was not something that I was trying to guesstimate from a historical standpoint. This is like every time a level was made it was crossed you had it here and this is why i have all these levels here and again if you see here there's a lot of supply levels as you see here now market works in a supply and demand perspective all right when you get to this level for example at 22 cents there's a lot of supply available here which means there's a lot of sellers are sitting here uh to cross this level will be difficult same thing goes here right if you see here it says demand level from october 22nd now it's a supply demand level from october now it's a supply there was a new demand level that was created. Now it's a supply. New demand level is a supply. There's a new demand level that was created recently, which is again, if this cross this level right here is going to go to 10 cents, even though there's a lot of good things coming out for the stock, but there's still a little bit of a, a issue here that, you know, there's uncertainty about the, the CEO itself and the company. And there's a lot of talks about not trusting the CEO, which can cause the stock to come down to 10 cents which again we will see they have not delivered any product in production at this point there have been a lot of talks about you know they're going to deliver and of course they purchased this elms company which they had a contract already with marion company where they will be delivering class one evs but we will have to see that again that's for that i made a video that says that you know you have to march your calendar for march 31st but for now, as I'm saying, right, these levels can actually be used to to make you guys money, right? Uh, not to give you financial advice, but if you're looking at these levels and let's say, you know, tomorrow, if the stock takes off and it, cross, it gets to 15 cents. Now, if I'm you, right, if I'm watching my levels right now, I will see how good it crosses this level. If it crosses up to 1564, 1569, I know this is heading to 16 cents. If it crosses 16 cents, we already know after that. There's nothing here that will stop it to get to 18 cents at that point, right? So you have to look at it from that perspective. Every time you invest money, you have to have a stop loss. You cannot go in blindly thinking the stock is just going to take off. The market does not work like that. Every time the stock goes up, it, they will, you know, the sellers will try to bring it down. The people who are trying to pay, take profit will try to bring it down because a lot of folks are day trading the stock. Not everybody's invested in a sense that they are doing the swing trade or they're invested waiting for the stock to take off to a dollar or two dollars or something like that a lot of folks are day trading this where they are taking you know let's say two cents gain for example they'll be buying twenty thousand shares thirty thousand shares and they'll be making like five hundred dollars six hundred dollars and coming out of the position a lot of people are shorting the stock the one i spoke to are shorting the stock as right uh, right now as well and if i was you for example if i'm but i'm bearish on this i think the stock is going to hit to 10 cents i could short the stock however you cannot short on webull or you cannot short on Robinhood. think or swim allows you to short and other platforms allowed to short. So with that being said, look at these levels right here. So every time this level is crossed, you know, 15 cents, you know, when 15 cents is going to be crossed, it's going gonna, it's gonna to potentially get to 16 cents. If 16 is crossed, it's going to be 18. If 18 is crossed, it's going to get to 20. Then you have a little bit of a, a close up, right? Between 20, 21 cents and then 22 cents. There's a lot of sellers sitting around this area, which we have seen that in the on March 7th, where it went up to 22 cents and was shot right back down. Uh, it could not even make it up there so 23 cents is next 25 cents 27 cents 28 cents now again these levels as i said are not created where i went to historical charts these were the level when i started off stock was hovering around 28 cents or so and this was a supply level this was a demand then it crosses demand level a lot of sellers came here buyers gave up on that level a lot of buyers came to 25 cents as a price but they steady the stock steady started dropping and a lot of buyers started disappearing because they think this price is not holding any value right now and now we're down to 13 cents and which you have might have seen a lot of hype about this that stock is going to take off from here but in my opinion i think the stock is coming down to 10 cents please do not hate me for that i am not trying to persuade the stock is going down i'm just trying to tell you that as of now a lot of fundamentals are not supporting mullen at this point at this very point i'm not against the company uh, but the fundamentals, right, are not supporting the company at this point. A lot of folks that became rich off of stocks did not go off of meme stocks, okay? They went off fundamentals. And this is why, if we look at the institutional holdings for the stock, is only 6.30%, which means that institutions, and most of the holders are Vanguard and BlackRock. But if you understand that, 
that most of the institutions are laying off of the stock right now because we know Mullen has not produced any vehicle at this point. Now, this is why we need to look out for March 31st because this is where the first production flea is going to go and we'll see how well that goes. With that being said, if you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. I'll bring you daily news and I'll let you guys know when the stock is going to head up. But for now, I do think the stock is heading down. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.